Hi guys, welcome back to the Kratos Nutrition YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk you through the ultimate clean warm-up. Following from last week's snatch warm-up video, we've had a load of good feedback from that and people asking us to do the same thing, breaking down the clean. So that's what we're going to do. As we discussed in last week's video and whenever we're looking at any sort of warm-up, we're going to break things down into three different aspects. Mobilizing, stabilizing and priming. When we're looking at mobility for a clean, there are three things we need to focus on. Our front rack mobility, this can be through our wrists, triceps, lats, thoracic spine, our hip mobility, or our ankle mobility. As with before, I'm gonna give you some drills for all three of these aspects. Don't expect you to do all of these drills. Just focus on the part that's your biggest limiting factor and try and improve that and implement that into your warm-ups regularly. Secondly, we're gonna look at stabilization. Here, we're focusing on key positions and being able to maintain our posture against that external load. The heavier the barbell, the more force we've got trying to pull us out of shape. And the key to a good clean is to maintain good posture despite that heavy load trying to pull against us. Things like pauses, holds, and isometric contractions here, especially where we feel weakest, are gonna help us improve while we're warming up. The final piece of that puzzle then is to prime the movement. Here, we're focusing on lighter loads, moving fast, and some dynamic movements to help improve our technique and hone in our coordination and proprioception leading into our clean work. Things like muscle cleans, tall cleans, hang cleans, and power cleans are all gonna help us improve that coordination leading into that clean session, and it's all gonna help us improve later on and allow us to load up that barbell nice and heavy when we need to. Let's have a look. Okay guys, here is the ultimate clean warmer. To start with, we're gonna look at mobilizing. We're gonna mobilize our front rack, we're gonna mobilize our hips, and we're gonna mobilize our ankles to help improve our bottom and receiving position for that clean. Before we get going, I'm gonna grab a barbell, and all I'm gonna do is just rotate through one arm at a time, try and loosen off that front rack. For me especially, I've got a terrible front rack position, so this is something I spend a lot of time doing before I start cleaning the barbell. Some other good ways of mobilizing that front rack is using a band or a kettlebell, some sort of resistance to open up through your lats and through your triceps. Allowing that weight to pull down my back. Should feel a stretch here through the tricep. I'm trying to keep my knuckles on my palm of my hand facing up as best as possible. Bracing at the midline here, so I'm not breaking here. I'm not trying to find some false range. I'm keeping my midline switched on and trying to squeeze against that external force. Another thing that I like to do as well is roll out through my thoracic spine and through my lats. That's just gonna allow me to get a slightly better range in that front rack position. For the thoracic, I'm gonna get that roller up into my upper back. I can either cross my arms across my chest, or what I prefer to do is get my hands over the top of my head and try and get my elbows together as much as possible. Putting my chin onto my chest throughout. And I look to complete about 10 pass-throughs through the thoracic before moving on to my lats. Go back to the barbell now, to the initial stretch, and we're gonna to start to see, hopefully, a bit of a difference, difference in that range of motion. I certainly feel as I'm getting my elbows up higher and it's more comfortable in that top position. Next, we're gonna look at our hip mobility, which will help us in the receiving position at the bottom of that front squat. One of my favorite hip mobility drills for the front squat and therefore receiving position of a clean is couch stretch. For this, you can use a bench, you can use a wall, whatever you need to, which is gonna elevate our rear foot, go into a nice extended lunge, and we're gonna work through our hip flexors. Back knee resting on the floor. 
it's not about how far back you can go. I'm about squeezing forward, squeezing my glutes, and trying to feel this in that rear hip flexor. We can then extend up and overhead to exaggerate that stretch slightly. And again, I can pulse through this slightly to add a slightly dynamic stretch. Moving on to our ankle mobility, all we're gonna do is an elevated ankle stretch with an external load. Again, using that bench, that just allows me to get a bit more purchase. I'm gonna put a weight through that knee and I'm gonna try and get my knee as far forward over that toe as possible. All this is doing is helping me stretch through my ankle. So we should be feeling nice and mobile now through our front rack, hips and ankles. We're gonna pick up our barbell now and work through some more specific dynamic drills to help with that clean. I'm gonna flow through several exercises now, doing five reps of each. Obviously you can do this all in one hit, same as I'm going to, or if you need to have a break in between exercises, that's absolutely fine. Make sure that we're maintaining hook grip throughout this, over the top of our thumbs, not thumbs over the top of the bar. Starting with a clean grip deadlift, into a hang clean pop. Hang muscle clean, this will help improve that turnover. Hang, power clean with a pause in the catch. Same thing, but we're gonna add a squat after the pause. into a hang squat clean. As you can see, my front rack's not great with just an empty barbell. With a little bit of load, it's better but a good warm up drill like that is gonna help me improve that position before I start to load that barbell. So there you go guys, that was the ultimate clean warm up. I hope you found that useful, and if you have, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.